What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today I thought I would upgrade my small parts storage situation because I've run out of room. Keep watching. So a while back, I did a video where I built that uh, storage shelf for my Harbor Freight small parts storage containers. At the time, it was perfect. You know, I was able to fit everything I needed to in there. It was up and out of the way. It was a convenient location. You know, it was great. But, however, I've acquired more junk. More parts, not more junk. More parts. So, I need more room to store my more parts. And here's what I've come up with. It's about four foot tall. It's on casters, so I can move it around the shop or I can push it up out of the way. Uh, it's got four locations on the bottom for the deeper storage containers, along with shelves for the standard size and the narrow. Now, oh, and a shelf on top to store some of the extra little bins that fit inside those containers. I thought about adding dividers for some of the for the shelves that would contain the narrower containers. But I thought about that and then I decided against it because I like the idea of kind of having a little, a little more modular. You know, if I should need to replace two of those narrow ones with a wider one, then I don't have to build more. I can kind of mix and match, move them around, stuff like that. So let me go ahead and uh, show you real quick what it took to build this. Super simple. So obviously the first thing you need to do is figure out what size storage container you want to build. How many can, how many storage bins do you have? What kind of space do you have in your garage or workshop? Where will, where's it going to fit? What size can you accommodate? So once you get your overall dimensions figured out, first thing I did was measure and cut for the main box. Once I had the main box pieces cut out, then I took quarter inch MDF and I measured and cut the quarter inch MDF down to size to make the dividers between the storage bins. Once I had the main box pieces cut out and the storage dividers cut, then it was time to route the grooves and the side pieces to accommodate the dividers.
So once I had everything cut to size, had all the pieces I needed, it was time to assemble. I used wood glue and pocket screws to hold the bottom to the sides, and then wood glue, wood glue, wood, and then wood glue and nails for the top. And the drawer dividers are just friction fit in place. Once that was done, I measured and cut a piece of fiberboard for the back panel. Once the back panel was in place, I added the dividers. Uh, the dividers are just friction fit in place. Once all that is done, I added the casters. And that's it. I mean, it's really simple. It took me maybe a few hours to make, and I could easily add to it if I wanted to. I could add another side. I could add some to the side sideways to make it so it kind of turns in a corner. Whatever. I mean, there's all kinds of options you can do. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see y'all later.